I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. I got my old long legged Mac Daddy news. Homosexual LJ, and I'm not through with y'all yet. Don't leave me yet, Mr. Engineer. Bill de Blasio, could you pull that up? Bill de Blasio and his wife, Shirlene McRae. I was wondering why she does, but you know, she, she, she should have been calling herself Shirlene de Blasio. The man was mayor. They kept calling her McRae. I thought they were going to, I want that to figure they didn't call her, finally call her Shirlene uh, de Blasio. Anyway, they are separating to date other people without moving out of the, out or divorcing. So here's what's going to happen. Give you, I, I'll, let me just read it. Uh, former Mayor Bill de Blasio, that's of New York City, in case y'all don't know who this guy is. He's, he's a mayor of New York City, the most recent mayor before Eric the failure Adams became mayor. Former Mayor Bill de Blasio and his wife, Shirley McRae, announced Wednesday that they are splitting after 29 years of marriage so that they can date other people without living apart or getting a divorce. I, I, I just want to have fun, McRae said, who was living as a lesbian when they met, he told the New York Times in a joint interview announcing the split. The couple claimed that the decision came during a heart-to-heart at home about two months ago in which they discussed they were not lovey-dovey anymore. However, they conceded that their marriage started crumbling years early, especially during the mayor's disastrous 2020 run for the White House. I thought it was a distraction, McCray said, of the much mocked bid that never came close to succeeding. She, uh, she said she only stood by de Blasio at the time because the presidential run was not the kind of thing when, where she can break ranks as part of the difficulty of being part of the package. Anyway, de Blasio, who was 62 years old, admitted that the description of his wildly overambitious aspirations as a distraction is kind of true, he said. Point for Charlene, he told the Times in their nearly three-hour interview at their Brooklyn home, they still plan to share. They plan to stay together, but they're going to date other people. They're going to live in the same house. I wonder if they're going to they bring people to that bedroom. I mean, how they going to work? Well, maybe it's, maybe it's in the article. I don't know how to do that. This is weird. And this guy used to be the mayor of the city of New York. Well, we got somebody worse now in terms of Looney Tune, this guy named Eric Adams. I mean, can you some can somebody tell me? Can somebody anyway? Bill de, Bla, de Blasi also blamed his eight years as mayor on his problems with his wife. Listen, man, that ain't the problem. Listen, Charlene Shirl- McRae was a lesbian, man, long before you met her and got nothing to do with you. Be- she, listen, Charlene McRae was a lesbian. We were running around out there uh, supporting other politicians. Your office of mayor didn't turn her into no lesbian. So let's be straight about what we can be straight about, all right? All right, here's another quote. Everything was this overwhelming schedule, this sort of series of tasks, he complained. And that kind of took away a little bit of our soul. You ain't got no soul. The COVID crisis made the mayor emotionally very needy. And he now admits, saying that he also left him and his wife not as connected. I thought it left him and his wife not connected. That, the COVID-19. McCray, uh, meanwhile, also blamed the lack of infrastructure for her own political aspiration, which sparked anger as her mental health initiatives were green-lighted under the, uh, her husband's leadership. The Times also highlighted how the marriage was also promoted to show that de Blasio was not some boring white guy, as one of their two adult kids was. <laughs> Called a boring white guy. Supporting her husband while having aspirations for her own uh, became a burden, McCray said. How can you be a couple in the fullness of what you tend to think? when you've got these responsibilities on your shoulder and you don't want to add to that, she said. I think I've read enough of this. My gosh, there's two more pages of it. I I, I had enough of this. All right, so, you know, the former, do we have a picture of Charlene and and, uh, Charlene and de Blasio? Those people out there, you know, may not know who, a lot of people don't know who this guy is and it's a good thing that you don't. So this guy was mayor of New York City for eight years, right? 
So what he's decided to do, he and his wife, they made a decision. They're going to they're gonna be they're going to live in the same house. They're not going to get divorced, but they're going to start dating other people. Right. So. I mean, and that's cool. That they think that that's OK. I, I mean, the. You know, that's the other thing. They're an interracial couple. You may not have known. If you don't know them, you know, say, oh, let's say you get weird as it goes long past the matter. My God, what is this? Uh, anyway, you know, so they were hooked up for a while. But the thing with it, Charlene was, was a lesbian when he married her. He knew that. He, he knew that. He didn't want to take him by surprise. The thing of it is, now, who is Bill de Blasio going to date? That's the thing that's left out of the article. Well, I should, maybe I should have read more, but I ain't going to read no more. The thing I want to know is, somebody, if, can somebody send me a note and tell me, well, who is Bill de Blasio going to date? Is he going to date men or women? I know, I know Charlene is going to go both ways. But, you know, you know, I, you know, the woman's a lesbian, she's a vile lesbian, but she also likes men. You know? What about Bill? What's <laughs> Hey, Pastor Manny, you have descended from bringing us the news to bringing us garbage. You're absolutely right. Bam, get rid of that. Take these, this garbage off the screen. I'm going to take a break here, but I need a break now.